All right, in this lesson, we're going to discuss something a little bit different, human body systems. Now, in the past, what I found is a lot of students have struggled with this topic because they don't remember everything from their health class or from their biology class. This one can be really confusing because when they ask questions, they tend to be so specific that you don't know the, the, the answer. So what I'm going to do to make it as easy as possible is I'm going to give you something that you can directly get information from. Here on this worksheet is each body system. And I'll zoom it in just a little bit for you. And let's see if I can go just a little bit more than that. And I'm going to give you a minute. Pause the video, write down all this information so you'll want to make this chart in your notes, and then we'll talk about them here in just a minute. All right, as of this point, you have one, two, three, four, five, six systems. That's not all of them. I'm going to add to them in just a second with the rest of them, same format. Um, but I want to talk about these a little bit. Circulatory system, your heart, blood vessels, digestive system, stomach and intestines, nervous system. That's how you think. That's all your nerves. That's how your body communicates or gets you to move your arm or to move your body. The endocrine system, everything from your pancreas to your ovaries, testes, adrenal gland, all kinds of things happen with the endocrine system. So really look at that one. Reproductive system, we're typically pretty good at this one. The, the integumentary system, we're not very good with at all. We don't remember it. So let me talk about it for a second. It has to do with the skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body. It just happens to be on the outside. And uh, it gives you the layers of the dermis uh, as your outer covering. Your epidermis is on the outside. Dermis is inside. And it talks about the importance here. So make sure you look at integumentary. Sometimes they like that one and it really confuses students because they don't remember it. Here's the other systems to finish out in your notes. Let me get this in place. You can pause the video and add this to what you just had. Now, when it comes to the rest of them, skeletal system, most people are okay with that one with bones and joints, respiratory system, system being able to breathe. Sometimes we get the term trachea, which is our windpipe. We don't know that term very well, so that one's important to make sure you know, make sure you know their functions. Muscular system, we're okay with that. Excretory and lymphatic system, make sure you glance at these. How we get wastes out of the body, that's your excretory system. Um, and so your, your kidneys, your bladder, all of that to get all the waste out of our body, body so we don't poison ourselves. And then the lymphatic system, okay? Um, the tonsils, thymus gland, the spleen, bone marrow. This one confuses a lot of people, okay? And so make sure you really look at that one. The human body systems, there's multiple of them. Some of them are very easy, but sometimes the questions typically trip us up because they ask for details we're not sure of. So make sure not only you know the parts, but you know their importance. And this is the human body system. 